All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? We are here with one of the best games of StarCraft. That's right. Every week, I try to look at the best games from the previous couple weeks. And I didn't do this one because I was like, who cares? PvP? Goblin? Christiania? These guys aren't even aren't even the very best Protoss players in the world. These guys are like top 20, top, top, top 10, top 15. Screw that. And then you know what happened, guys? My fans, people out there who tipped me off on these said, why did you not cover this match yet? It is incredible. It's silly. It's ridiculous. And I was like, fine. You guys won me over. I was like, I, I sometimes avoid the mirror matchups, but when people actually get angry at me for skipping it and say, why have you not cast this map yet? I uh, basically could say, okay, there must be something good. I think this was game three in a best of three, but people said, don't even worry about the context or the series. Just look at this as a gem explaining how PVP can be bloody fun. And I was like, okay, all right, we'll take a look at it. We'll take a look. So of course, Goblin in the top left is from Croatia. I always used to say his country incorrectly, but I think it's Croatia. Um, he's a very, very good Protoss player. who has been on the up and up. And I think what we like about Goblin the most is his no Fs given attitude. Um, he really, you know, he could be quite cocky and stuff. His first LAN, he got like a top eight, I think it was, at one of the Kiev tournaments. And he's uh, he's very, very cool. Uh, Christiania, of course, also I like because he literally was just a BM rager on the ladder. BM, bad mana, for those who don't know. Some of the older folk who aren't as indoctrinated into the gaming scene might think that sounds a bit silly. Uh, for us, uh, yeah. StarCraft is a very mannered community, and uh, it is very rare for players to be BM, but often when they're about 13 or 14 and already hitting Grandmaster, they uh, kind of think they're hot stuff, and they like to call people names while they're beating them. Um, some of them have explained it as, you know, it's just them being nice, because if, if they don't tell their opponent that they're losing, how will their opponent know? And um, when they're about to win the game, rather than, you know, waiting for the other player to surrender, they'll type good game uh, an offensive GG, we call that, where they tell them to basically, it's like saying, get out, you're done, you're dead, dickhead, leave. And sometimes they'll even press the pause button, then they'll unpause it, then pause it, and then unpause it, because that's really jolting for the other player. If you do that without warning, it's, it's basically the height of being a dickhead. Now, I don't know if Christiania ever did the pause unpause, but I'm pretty sure he threw out more than a, his fair share of offensive GMs back in the day. But he is now reformed and matured. He's, he's 17 or 18 now, I think he is. He's, he's, he's you know becoming an adult and uh and he's been really rounding out his play style and getting very good uh obviously you don't keep improving unless you get at least a little bit of humble uh a little bit of humble pie served to you and i think christiana already had that at a young age now this game starting off with a very safe expand for christiana he wants that sentry to hallucinate out and gets vision the goblin's gone proxy stargate now he knows he's being proxy so he should have defense up for this but oh he's being greedy man he sent the hallucination out and he checked for close by proxies, but it's so far away and hidden he didn't see it. These adepts are keeping these stalkers pinned at the front and dude, there's no shield battery in the main. There's stalkers, he needs to cancel this shield battery, but look at the way Goblin does this. He's going to try and shade in and that means if you cancel this to let the stalkers in to defend, the adepts are going to get in as well. And look at that, you see, he cancels it and it lets the adepts in. Oh, Goblin coming in with a beautiful one too. The stalkers and the sentries trying to defend. They have to target the Oracle because it does so much damage. Nice force field though to stop the adepts from getting right on in there. And he does have a faster expand of his own. So maybe, maybe, maybe the sentry running away from that Oracle. The Oracle will run out of energy. Goblin did not turn that off, so... The Oracle does run out of energy. He's got his own Nexus behind it. Seven probes, but he didn't lose a single unit. That's a fantastic trade. And it allows his later Nexus to really uh, just catch him up on the probes little by little. Now, Christiania does strike back and actually focus down the Adept. So he gets one of them. Second one's going to almost die as well, which means it's not going to have much use left. There are two Oracles out. One of them... Okay, the reason it revelated is because he wants to wait for this first oracle to get some more energy. So not turning the oracle off a bit of a mistake from Goblin. Gobbo, as I like to call him. And uh, some people, you know, they've been like, oh, why are you calling him Gobbo? That sounds dirty. Guys, no, that's not. No, Gobbo, like, orcs and gobbos. Wow, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Some of you watch way too much internet. You internet too much, all right? Um, nothing weird about calling him Gobbo, okay? Christiania is uh, looking very good so far. Seven Stalkers, three Sentries. He's recovered his probes back to even, but the Oracles... Eh, they only get one probe there, so the Oracles aren't really doing much more than threatening. If Christiania doesn't take any more damage, he's going to be super solid, man. Now, a lot of people have pointed out that uh, it's Christiana, because apparently his human name is Christian. 
Christianer is a shit alias, though. Christiania sounds fucking badass, man. So that's why we're calling him that. I've, I've gotten in the habit of it. I think it sounds much better. And much like someone in my Twitch chat who tells me that's not how you say my name, it's this. Um, there was one the other day. I was like, hey, boob, thanks for the sub. And he was like, oh, sorry, it's um, it's Bob, actually, pig. But um, I love the stream. Good content. And I said, yep, it's too late. And he said, uh, well, what do you mean? And I said, your name's Boob now. And he's like, well, well no, I mean, it's clearly Bob. And I'm like, yeah, the capitalization was weird. I'm sorry, but like once it's in my head that your name is a certain thing, that does not change easily, man. Like we're talking serious cognitive rewiring. So I'm sorry, guys, for the Christian Christian people out there, the Christian religion, that sort of stuff. I know, I know you want, you know, you want your boy to get praised here. We're, we're calling him Christiania. And until he, he asks me to stop it directly with a, an angrily worded Discord message, we're gonna we're gonna stick with this, all right? So Christiania macroing up, he's defended his probes very well in the follow-up. Goblin, he's got a second immortal on the way and a DT shrine as well. Wait, wait, wait proxied on the right side, but so Christiania is proxying the DT shrine. The oracles have scouted it though, so that's not gonna do shit. Observer starts up. Does he cancel it or does he just let it finish and says, eh, might as well. Glaives? What the? Why would you go Glaives here? Okay, that actually doesn't make sense, right? A Glaives all in on two base right now is insane. Maybe just for harassment, it makes sense. If you're planning to just continually shade Adepts in all game, it's like, hey, you might as well have Glaives for it. It'll pay off eventually. But really, is he just going to do a... This is such a late Adept all in. I don't think it could work. Not, not once Archons and stuff already out. Now, Goblin is very stalk, excuse me, stalker and model focused. Those units don't kill Adepts very quickly. But uh, yeah, it's weird that both guys are hugging two base, both afraid to take a quick third and, and really saying, no, 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 let's have a good big army right here, right now. And I think they both know each other's reputations as more aggressive Protoss players on that end of the spectrum. And so they're not actually uh, wanting to risk taking the third. I mean, Goblin looks like he'll put it down, but he's not actually probing. So he's, he's, he's doing the minimal investment. He's kind of like limping his way towards the option of a third base, but he's actually just focusing on Blink and, and Blink's Stalker production, which should kick ass against the Depths. The, the problem you'll run into is, of course, that there is a bunch of Immortals out, and Immortals do smash against them. His own Immortals not going to be very effective against Mass Adept either. The Oracles could be fantastic damage dealers, because if he, if he kind of just turns on the lasers, hold positions them, and they, they just sit there fighting Adepts for the whole fight, they'll do great damage. Here we go, big push coming out for Christiania. He's got that Warp Prism heading out as well. More Stalkers back there in the main and the natural as well. And, uh, okay, what do we got? Adept coming on forward. Ooh, he's going to shade in and set off the Stasis Trap. Nicely done. Very cute. It's going to be, yeah, great force fields. No, oh, there's no Prism or anything to deal with this as well. That's a dead third. I mean, he's going to just have to cancel it. He loses the pylon, depowers the battery. Adepts go in and start taking down probes, though. Ooh, very nice damage there. More force fields for Christiani, but but where's his warp prism? It's a little far back right now. Ooh. Oh, a crazy blink forward from Gobbo. Gobbo just goes for broke. His immortals can't get in range of the stalkers, though. And these adepts are going to cause him some big issues right now. Oh, man. I mean, this right now is, is, is looking like... I don't know who's actually going to win because you've lost your immortals as Christiana. Uh, oh, I said it right. Accidentally. Whew, it's subconscious. But these adepts, you do not want to go on these stasis traps. Third Nexus does go down. Still probe advantage for Goblin. He's going to try and take out these sentries. His units should scale better with time. But man, when he uses the blink forward like that, he can't blink back. And I think he should just give up on this third and go disruptors right now. I think disruptors are a no-brainer unit against... Like, all these units are going to be useless against that. He drops the Robo Bay. There we go. Goblin is like, fine! You've got so many tanky adepts. You've got force fields, guardian shields. I guess I'll go disruptors. But he's got to give up on the third and realize, hey, look, I've got two oracles. I can still dive in and do damage. There's still six stalkers at home defending for Christiania. And uh, that's a bloody juicy stasis trap, man. If This is where you wish you had a disruptor because you can actually time it. You can wait until that stasis is about to run out and you can throw a ball on it so it just explodes on their face right afterwards. Many people's nightmare. Just, you know, being stuck there. Um, has anyone ever had sleep paralysis? Is where you, 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 you know, you, 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 you're kind of awake, but you can't move your body still. I feel like that's what it's like when you're in a stasis trap. You're watching all this army come around you. Thankfully, your bros do come to save you. It's mass sentry adept stalker. The immortal stalker trying to defend for goblin. And 
and he's trying to hang on. A few of his units go down. He really hasn't been able to use his shield batteries as much as he would have liked here. And, and the Stalkers are so much more valuable. If he could just pop a battery overcharge, it's kind of like, hey, why are we fighting out here? I think Goblin maybe not doing it. Christiania, by the way, I can't believe he's actually done this well with such a late Adept Sentry all in. But we're just seeing that versus this like Stalker Immortal buildup of Goblin, I mean, the Force Fields have had so much value. The Adepts have been so tanky. And he's been really patient at leaving Stalkers. Oh no, he's pulled all his Stalkers across the map now. I was just about to praise him for always keeping Stalkers at home. Oh no. <laughs> and just as I say that he loses six workers. Oh, Christiani's going to shove on in, man. Battery overcharge ain't here anymore. There's no healing left. The Adept Stalker sentry coming on forward. That one immortal on the right side. You can see he's shift clicked it. Ball! The ball! He's got to bring the ball down here. The ball, the ball, the ball. Goblin right now has one nut and he's got to make it count. One nut and he's going to go explode. Ah! He gets uh, two sentries. Not terrible, I guess, but he's losing so many workers right now. Goblin's still got this one immortal. A handful of stalkers. These adapts are just so tanky. They are not armored units. So all this bonus to armored damage is doing nothing at all. Oh, no, his natural gets ransacked. Adepts are coming on in. The ball is almost ready to fire. These young guns refill their loads very quickly. And he's got another one pops out as well. One Adept goes out, gets four Adepts. Very nicely done. The Oracle's using their lasers. Battery overcharge. Oracle micro from Goblin. Goblin hanging on with so few units, but he's got almost nothing left. Four Stalkers, two Disruptors, man. Dude, I don't think he's got enough. That Disruptor completely whiffs. Oh, damn. Okay, the battery overcharge is going to run out. He's still got a little bit of healing there, but oof. This is so scary. Goblin needs to crush this army and probe back up right now. The Disruptors are such a good unit. Remember, these Stalkers do not have Blink for Christiania. You've got plus one as well as Goblin here. Does he throw out? Oh, yep. There's no real way to dodge that. A Sentry 2 Stalkers go down and Goblin can start to get really efficient with Blink Disruptor. He gets another Adept there. And you can see, look at this. Christiani is not going to be able to actually target anything down because Goblin can just pull back those weak Stalkers. And he's coming in with more Adepts. Christiania should actually be taking a third right now. There's no reason to be continuing to throw these units away. Yeah, just pressure. Take a third. Transition. Probably charge. Archon would make the most sense from here. He's going to try and go blink and just match the Stalkers. Yeah, that can work. I mean, you've got such a big economy advantage. You've got a natural mining. He doesn't. But uh, Christiania really should be trying to take a third base as well, just to continue that economy lead. Goblin, of course, he's thinking about getting down to the natural. He's a bit afraid to. He's on 22 probes, and he's going to try and recover his economy. Christiania went for such a late all-in. Is he going to take a corner base? I was about to say you should actually take a corner base in this scenario because you can't really defend a third. I can't believe it, but look at this. Not only does the Oracle spot it, I think the Stargate and the Pylon might... Actually, they're just barely out of range, but they'll probably see the probes once they come down here. <laughs> Christiania might find the proxy inadvertently, finally, in this game. If Goblin could take out the DT proxy, that would be nice. And DTs have been warped in. Christiania's going to try and maybe recall probes to that bottom left. For now, it's just mass Blink Stalker, which makes sense. Of course, Goblin he has plus one. So he's still got that upgrade advantage. He's got Blink right now, which isn't there for the uh, the other player. Christiania will come in. He's got to get out. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. No, no, you don't want to lose your observer. Every unit counts, bro. Goblin notices it. Blinks forward. Goodbye, observer. Yachis. Okay, we've got another Disruptor on the way. 29 pros versus 35. The corner base is up. I think this is the point where I'd really like to see Goblin sneak out and try to take the top right. Like, that would just make this game right now. We've got a DT proxy there. Stargate here. By the way, these still have not seen each other. Okay, he sees the pylon now. So Christiania sees the pylon at the bottom left. Oh, sorry. Goblins. Goblin sees that. Um, of course, that's Christiania's base that's going up there. This base is... Uh, oh, this map, sorry. This game is, is absolutely insane. So it's just pure Stalker Disruptor for Goblin. And Christiania's like, well, I'm just going to have more Stalkers than you and dodge your balls. You know, he's going to play dodgeball. And uh, that can work, but you can see that Goblin's catching up in the probes. He's closing up the supply gap. There are still seven Adepts out of the map that could be huge. Oh, he spots the recall! And, he or oh, and he's already seen the pylon! Uh oh Oh, no, 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 no. Run, run, get out of there. Christiana just abandoned it. Give it up. You can't You can't defend this. He just he needs a few more warpins. Actually, his Adepts could go do massive damage. There's, there's not much at home defending. Dude, those Adepts are going to go across through the middle. They're a little slow. Oh, oh, Christiana. Oh, my God, he doesn't have a... If he had a battery here, this would change everything, of course. But look at the balls. The balls in the back. Goblin. Oh, good blink. He blinks into the stalkers to dodge the ball. That was kind of funny, but it does get the job done. DTs do run in. Main and natural right now. Uh-oh. 
Oh, the shit is about to hit the fan. Cristiani's going to lose another Observer, but that means there is a DT in the main. Adept's coming in right now, and Stalkers as well with a bit of a stabby stab in the backy back. Goblin right now throwing balls, but Cristiani keeps on dodging them. He says, you can throw them, but I can dodge them, dickhead. Goblin says, yeah, well, your probes can't, can they? Probes are forced to pull into the fight. He's going to try and take the fight here. Is Cristiani? He's going to try and blink aggressively. Ooh, okay, okay. The balls will refill, and I think Goblin still has the advantage, but the thing is, it's so hard for him to defend. Oh man, these adepts are starting to slaughter his workers right now. It looks like the disruptors are still out, all four of them. This base is probably going to go down, but actually, Cristiani has way more stalkers right now. As long as he doesn't get hit, one ball changes everything potentially. Two stalkers go down to that one. And Goblin with a snap recall. Very nicely done. Only loses one of the disruptors there. He's still got four up. Two sets of firm balls for the young Croat. He's looking bloody fantastic, isn't he? And, um... Oh, man, he's, he's looking really, really, really good uh, in terms of the army. His economy looks like utter shit, but they're both down to just half a base mining. So it doesn't really matter that you're on 13 probes because that's all you can mine from both of you, really, at this point. There's a bit more gas mining for Christiania, and he's going for that third base. I mean, you can see the income is very similar, just a bit more gas. And uh, that's where I think Archons would be fantastic, right? Definitely get time, time for a Templar Archives. Could go DT Archons, but they're much more expensive on the minerals. And uh, Stalker Disruptor gathering up still. Sentries being made, interestingly, for Goblin. I would like to see Goblin go out and trade with the Stalkers, but he's outnumbered, isn't he? Oh, he's adding a mortal in as well. So he really wants all these, like, value units. Sentries, Guardian Shields, Force Fields, Disruptors. Meanwhile, Christiani is like, me make Stalker. Hmm. Now me get shoes for my Zealots. They run faster. So Christiani is a man of my people. Um, that is exactly how I play PvP. Zealot Stalker, Zealot Stalker. Then I make some more Zealots and Stalkers. Oh, man. The Observer sees the move out. And he says, guess what? I've got the Observer. Your Observer wasn't watching. It was a bit too far back. Sets off the Stasis Trap. Gets on in there. And we're going for yet another huge counterattack situation. The third base gets cancelled. But remember, guys, Christiani doesn't have anything like Disruptors to defend. He's only got DTs there. So I guess he could defend with DTs if he warps some in before the DT Shrine gets taken down. But Goblin being a little bit indecisive right now. He goes to the DT Shrine, then he changes his mind. DTs do catch some of Goblin's probes going across the map. This is going to go full base trade. By the looks of it, the Storks and the Disruptors will finally go in for the base trade for Goblin. But not before Christiani gets enough money to build a Nexus out on the map. And that is very good for him. If he can take out the other Nexus, he can make sure there's no recall as well. Goblin might just try to kill this other Nexus and then recall. Killing gases right now, not the biggest priority. Cristiani has got to get a move on in this base trade. He's got to, he's got to get a move on or he's got to uh, recall. And recalling into Disruptors seems like objectively a terrible move, especially because he could just stasis strap on you. Um, the moment he sees that, he's going to focus down the Nexus there. Goblin, did Goblin get any probes out, guys? He's got, yeah, he's got enough money for a Nexus as well. So he could rebuild also both the sides. Well, actually, Cristiani still has the Nexus available. I feel like Goblin's trying to bait him into using it. Goblin's like, yeah, dude, you totally want to recall right now. Come on, man. Give it a go. Give it a go. Give it a try, man. Just give it a give it a go. Very close. Almost identical units lost on both sides. 62 of Goblin's probes have died. 51 of Christiania's. Oh my god. And Christiania is gonna retake that bottom left side, but Goblin's gonna find it. Will he? Yes, yes, he will. Sees that one down there. Stalkers are coming back. One DT is gonna continue to clear up the buildings right now. Few stalkers, a hallucinated phoenix, some disruptors, and stasis traps could be the big money winners here. I think the observers are actually vital as well. Right now, there's only an oracle, no observer for goblin, and that is huge. He's gonna have to use his oracle here. Tries to throw a ball forward. Gotta be careful. Get your stalkers down there to defend, mate. Oof. Christiania, because if he if he dived and got the disruptors, that would have been obviously game ending. But he gets the observer! Great eyes for Goblin. He gets the Observer, which means there's only one left. Remember, if this Oracle dies, Disruptors are the only way he can kill the Dark Templar, and he'd be having to guide those onto the blur of the Dark Templar, which is not reliable. Very hard to pull off if they're trying to dodge as well. So this Oracle obviously is the lifeline. He's hiding it there on the right side. We've got Stalkers are going to rotate. Christiani's got a base up with eight probes at it. Only three probes here for Gobbo. Pylon's building as well right now. But Christiania will take down this last uh, pylon and then tech structures as well. Observers coming on forward. Those stalkers do take out the hallucination. Oh 
man. You'd, you'd really love to try and get rid of this other observer, wouldn't you? Oh, I like the move. I like that move. If you can just blink forward and kill a stalker, it could be big. And Oh, look at that. He's going to try and blink on the high ground and then just get a stalker kill and get away. That's a very cute move. I like it. I think it's a good move. He might even dive on the disruptors. Oh, uh -huh. oh no, he's going to get caught, though. Oh, goblin. Go oh, down. No, no. Ah! Okay, does blink away, shuts down the hallucination. Buildings continue to die. Probes are now building. Christiania got on supply block for a moment there. Oh, he loses two stalkers though. Goblin. Some sick plays. He's at 17 versus 17. I think it was two stalkers of Christiania that went down. It, down. it might have been one for one. Oh, he loses another one, but he, he can counter. He can counter kill one, I think. Ooh, Goblin being very good at picking those off. One stalker slowly killing things. That one DT slowly killing things. DT on the right side will come on in. And it could do some big damage. You're talking about a three probe economy for Goblin. And if he loses those probes, he won't be able to rebuild. Ooh, looks like one stalker for both sides went down there. DT is here. Oracle needs to revelate that Dark Templar. Probes have gone and hidden themselves. Goblin blinks after and gets another stalker kill. You can see he's at 16 versus 14 now. So he's, he's done a three for one trade. And we just saw a disruptor shot take that out. The Oracle not revealing itself to the danger of getting picked off. Great zoning play by Goblin right now to defend his base, but it is actually Christiania who's out macroing him. So Christiania doesn't really need to do damage. It's, it's Goblin who's going to have to go do stuff to him. Oh, but Goblin keeps picking off these stalkers. There we go. Christiania does make it a trade. One for one in that case. And... Oh, blink, 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 blink. Oh, he loses another stalker, despite blink being cooled down because that was the first stalker that he blinked. He thought they all pulled back, but they didn't. The DT shrine will get taken out by Goblin. Goblin, though, unable to afford enough pylons to rebuild right now. He's, he's going to try and rebuild them in the near future, but 13 probes for Christiana. And uh, he's got more probes all coming down to mine from that base. These stalkers are still roaming. The observer pokes in on that right side. If he sees that with the oracle and takes it out. <gasps> I think he sees it, guys. I think he sees it. Because the stalkers... Does he? If he sees that observer... Oh. Oh. He sees it! He gets it! Oh my god, he gets it! Goblin spots the blur and takes it down! And you see, look at that, the stalkers want that oracle so badly. They are so thirsty to get rid of the detection, because if they get rid of the detection, they know the DT, the DT, or DTs, there's two of them, can be so annoying. Oh, this is actually such a sick match right now. Christiani is still running in circles. He's got that economy. He's got lots of pylons coming up. All this sort of stuff. His DT is going to try and get some hits on these uh, stalkers because he knows that Oracle can't really come over here to defend. Turns to find a little bit, but Goblin is just so good at trading. Oh, two stalkers go down for one, two for two at this point. Stalker count is, of course, still massively in favor of Goblin. Still taking out those buildings in the main. Goblin still not building extra pylons. He's going to build a forge. He wants to get cannons up. So he's like, dude, I don't want to build units. I have a better composition. I just need to make sure I don't bloody die. DT comes forward. It's, of course, not attacking. He just wants to use it like an observer right now. Christiani is up extra gateways and a cyber core. He's got 16 probes. If he can get just stalkers warping in off that gas bank, which he's already doing, that's going to be really, really big. So uh, the time is on. The pressure is on. Goblin needs to make something happen. He gets a stalker, loses one in return, almost loses a second one thanks to that Dark Templar adding in some big damage. He's still got four balls in the back. He can build cannons, of course, to defend himself from the base trade. So if he builds a cannon, gets, gets a cannon or two up, then, of course, Goblin can bring his disruptors and push. But he's got to shut this base down. Christiani is already looking at taking another expansion. And uh, this is this is such a wild base trade. It is down to just a handful of units on both sides. But look at this. The stalk account has now matched. And that is because Christiani is making them two, two or three at a time. He's got a battery to fall back on. Goblin is going to build three cannons. Stasis traps everywhere. He says, okay, that should stop me from dying over here. Now let's push forward. He might even bring the Oracle on the south of the map where it can't get sniped. Um, so that if he needs detection, it's going to come in for revelation. It's got two revelations available. Hallucinated stalkers. Oh, very nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. And he sees it. He sees it. He hunts it. The Dark Templar goes down. Nice blink forward or blink back, sorry, by uh, by Christiania. He almost gets one disrupted, but doesn't quite get it. You got to be careful. Careful, Goblin. It does force him to blink back. Zealot warping in does get taken down. Shield battery gets taken down as well. One disruptor shot just goes out to zone. The probes are in trouble. Oh, he throws a disruptor shot out trying to get these probes. Doesn't quite land it. 
He's going to have to pull back here. The Disruptors are going after the probes. Hits his own Stalker. Not a good choice. He should have gone after the Stalkers of Christiania. All of his balls are empty right now. The Immortal obviously helps out, but he needs to refill his balls. Right now, Goblin needs to refill those balls. He throws one, but it whiffs. And dude, Christiani's actually got the better angle right now, but he's already lost his economy. So he needs to crush this army because Christiania cannot rebuild. He does not have enough money to rebuild a Nexus. He's got to win this fight. These Disruptors, I think, are throwing out a little bit too quick for Goblin because now he's empty again. And even just empty for a few seconds could be disaster. Uh, Christiani is just wearing this down. He knows that winning this fight head to head is what matters and what will decide this game. Another ball does go out, flying loose. Another one does go out as well. The Immortal loses its barrier. And that Immortal is looking mighty exposed. Stalker does fall there. Another ball goes forward. Another ball goes forward. But then he's empty. He knows he's empty. Christiani's going to go for it. The Immortal goes down. He's going to take this trade, fighting against these Stalkers head to head. Goblin is outnumbered. His Stalkers are wounded. And look at this. Goblin is starting to lose so many units. Units. If he can't take out this Nexus, he's, he's probably going to be in huge trouble. A nice recall does keep his units alive. Two of them get sniped down before the recall is complete. And he pulls back. And the one upside here for Goblin, guys, is he's no longer supply blocked. So because he lost so many units, he can now build a bunch of probes. Christiania, he also has a probe. So one probe versus four. Now Goblin's in the lead economically. But the stalk account is so much better for the Polish player. Stasis trap though. Oh, oh, if he can time this out. Oh my God, because he can obviously blink away because blink, I believe, is off cooldown. If he's going to try and land a disruptor shot on those as they come out of it. Oh, <laughs> Goblin needs to keep probing here. Um, There's so little minerals on this base though. Oh, he built a Nexus at a really shit base. Oh! He gets it. He threw two out because he wasn't sure if he could time it perfectly. So he threw them a fraction of a second apart. The first one went too early, but the second one landed right on the money. Goblin. That is so hard to time out. But he realizes it's so hard to time out and he builds a little bit of redundancy in there. What a bloody genius, dude. That was so well done by Goblin. You could tell Cristiani was spamming the button like, please let me blink, let me blink, let me blink, let me blink. But he just could not activate it in time. They started the blink animation and bam, they were gone. Now, just five stalkers left for Cristiania and... Oh no, the Oracle! It gets one worker, it gets two workers, and it gets on out of there. Nice revelation. Doesn't actually get the stalkers, but does get the buildings. So this should be a massive economy advantage for Goblin, but he's out of minerals. So he's gonna have to what? Start mining from over here. Oh my, and he can't build stalkers or anything. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, five stalkers doesn't sound good, but I guess it's only three, isn't it? But he's still got more hit points on him, doesn't he? Oh, man. Oh, man. The disruptors are so worthless in this small skirmish. How do you get to more minerals from this base? The disruptors just can't do anything, right? All they're going to do is force him to move away for a moment. Like, and five stalkers just beat three stalkers. I mean, the oracle can add a little bit of damage, but it'll get one shot by five stalkers. So the, the, the thing is, it is actually like disruptors are just worth jack all. A Colossus would be great here. An Immortal, anything that does sustain damage. But a Spellcaster like this, a single shot unit that goes big boom, it's like bringing a Howitzer to a small scale infantry skirmish, you know? It's it's not going to help you having a Howitzer when it's when it's five dudes having a shootout with five dudes. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just not useful in this situation. And, uh, I mean, Goblin, he needs to get more minerals. What could he... He could build a Cyber Core, 150 minerals, and then still have enough to make one Stalker, I think. But, uh... Ooh, okay. Or Oracle... Oh, my God. Is he trying to bait him into the Stasis Trap or something? If he loses the Oracle, he's in huge trouble. I think I think he's got to just mine. Start mining this base. You've got a Stasis Trap. You've got Stalkers and Disruptors. You've got the High Ground. I think Goblin needs to start mining that base, build a Cyber Core. If he can just get a few more Stalkers out, he could do it. Meanwhile, Christiania can actually get back to Stalker production if he can just mine a bit more. He's got eight probes. So yeah, Goblin tries to move out, but he can't do it right now. The Oracle has now worked its way back. Oh my god, this game. Goblin, mine this base, mine this base. You got the Stasis Trap there. Get another Stasis Trap here as well if he can. Would be huge. Um, but if he loses the Oracle, then all five Stalkers come together and you're never getting out there. So if he, he's got to keep the Oracle alive. If he loses that... Christiani gets to bring the other stalkers over and Christiani is already mining a lot of minerals. So I actually think he's the favored one right now. And this all comes back to the fact that Goblin took Christiani as natural when he should have taken one of the third bases. 
and and it's it seems like not an important decision at the time but in the rare case the game goes to 29 minutes and you mine out that one base that you rebuilt it actually matters uh obviously no detection for christiania oh he's gonna just build another nexus really that doesn't seem like the right call at all I, I think cyber core and then just building like three or four stalkers and fighting is but he's like no i can always defend with disruptors i'm just gonna take the nexus get it up defend it will be good oracle comes in does another revelation second gateway goes down christiani's on 14 probes that's a much better economy right now and the income is just so much ahead for so long <laughs> you can see there's like literally zero income um the, this tiny little income advantages that are actually so meaningful in terms of the minerals per minute Almost no income for Goblin, and it has been for quite a while. Blinks forward, gets a shot off the store because of Christiania. Try to chase, but you got to be careful. The balls are empty. Stasis Trap is always looking rather sexy. Oh, 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 he almost walked into it, but not quite. Goblin almost gets a Stalker there. Remember, he's been the, the one who's usually better at the Stalker pickoffs, but with only three Stalkers, it's hard to work that magic, man. Two probes do get taken down. He's only got four, does Goblin. He's going to try and build one more. Christiani is just going to build more stalkers and I think he's actually got this in the bag. I think I think as long as he doesn't walk all of his stalkers into like a stasis trap or something, I just think Goblin with only three stalkers doesn't have the support for the disruptors anymore. And I think Christiani should be able to win, but this game has almost been over on either side about 10 different times and it hasn't happened. It's now been 30 minutes into this game. So I'm, I'm not calling it over by any means. There's always a chance of either player slipping up in their micro for a moment losing just a couple of units which will change everything oracle's going around the left side of the map there is a nexus on the way for christiania oh another stasis trap but that means he will lose a stalker there oh no he won't and i think we're going to do disruptor 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 this time i think he's going to throw three or four shots out just to ensure same as he did last time that these stalkers die there are more stalkers coming though so goblin's going to try and distract him he's going to run in and fight as this is running out guys it's running out he threw them too early he threw them too early but the other stasis trap catches some of the other ones the stalkers and the probes are going to try and defend so he is actually still going to take out these stalkers because the four flanking stalkers that came in for the save go down goblin has a reddit point stalker that's trying to get away christiania's assassin stalker literally blinks in breaks his neck and gets on out of there we need to land this one oh he gets two of the stalkers but there's still too many left and i think christiania he has done it, man. He's done it. There's only one stalker left. He's dodging. He's been playing dodgeball for the last 16 minutes. And dude, even the Oracle comes in right now. The stalker, the probes fighting. Goblin has been microing like a savage. But finally, the Oracle from the early game goes down. A ball actually gets two disrupt uh, two stalkers there. I was not expecting that. Christiania knows that he shouldn't lose from here. And yet you can see he's kind of a little panicky. And he's actually losing stalkers to disruptor shots. This should not be happening. Goblin is going to tap out though as he's got nothing left. And all right, guys, I will trust you next time you tell me a series is good, even if it's a mirror matchup. That was bloody fun. GG, well played, Christiania. <laughs> that was awesome.